Hey guys, it's been a little bit of time since the Q&A announcement video. If you haven't seen that, go watch that first. Link is in the description. And you guys sent so many questions in there. I couldn't answer all of them and some of them are really good. <laughs> so we're going to go through them and answer most of them right now. Exo asks, if I jam a cucumber into a wall socket, will I still gain wings to fly to Antarctica? That method is outdated now from 1862. Did you perhaps watch one of Scopey's tutorials? Now you have to grab a brick and throw it at a kid. Tiki asks, what is your favorite game? I sort of divide my favorite game into categories. I have my childhood favorite, I have my sort of medium favorite, and then my, my current favorite through like generations of games that I've played. And my childhood favorite game is Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2. Favorite game in the next generation is Little Big Planet. I absolutely love games where you can make levels yourself. After that, I got a PC. And then my favorite game became Gary's Mod, and that's probably my all-time favorite game too. There's just so much content, so many laughs in that game. Lalina asked, why Sedor? So way back in the day, I found like videos from this group. They were doing Call of Duty Zombies videos, World of War. And one of them was called Daytor. And I liked how that looked and like the, the shortness of it and the zero like sort of gives it a really nice sort of shape. That's a weird thing to say. <laughs> so it's like, okay, I want to pick a name that I stick to and I want to make it somewhat similar to that. Okay, well, what can I change in it? And then I came up with SETI. Uh, I was satisfied with that. So that's how I got on that name. Wow, Pinky asks, my question is, why do you hate females? Boy, what do we do? It's a long story. All right, hear me out. So it was a dark and stormy night. And I decided I'd hate females. Do you have a girlfriend? No, but I'd love to. <laughs> Alexandra asks, where are you from? I am from Denmark. Ray301 and Israel asks, who is your main in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate? No. Isaiah, Raging Nine Golem, Melex Signed, and a cool dude asks, how did you meet all your friends? So this is a good question. <laughs> Back in the day, like six, seven years ago or so, small YouTube groups formed around Gmod on forums like YT Talk, which is where I went. There's the main part of the forum was just sort of looking for people to play with. I found a group that Lou was in, so I joined that group. I brought Rose with me into that group. I can go through the list of the rest of people. So Scoby was invited by Dino, a person in our group, also through YT Talk. Dan and Jacob were linked together with our group by Lou. He had known them from another group. Wolf was brought into a game with Lou by Dan and Jacob from another group again. Later, he was invited into a Gmod game with the rest of us and he was added to our group. Robbie is a real life friend of Lou's, so he brought him in when we needed a fifth man for CSGO. <laughs> Smithy was brought in by Scoby from another Skype group. Merton Dennis, met Robbie and Lou in a random CSGO match on the team. And then after that game, they decided to invite each other and play more games. And the first time I played with them was when those two were invited into the Terraria session that we have a video of right there. <laughs> and Lenka, that's pro <laughs> uh, Lenka was found on Steam by literally searching girl gamer and then adding her. <laughs> she accepted for some stupid reason. And then we played Gmod Murder. And after we played that, we were like, we, the rest of us without her had like a discussion, like a private discussion. Do we add her to a group? What did you think? Was she funny? And like, <laughs> she was added to the group after that. And then also Scoby Dipster, which is like such a stupid thing, but it worked because now there are a couple like. <laughs> and then Exo, we met on our Discord server where he was active. We became friends with him. We started playing with him. And now he's sort of joining in on many of our games too. Those are the main ones anyway. Tui asks, have you ever done a makeup video? If not, can we have a makeup review? I don't actually have any makeup, so I guess we gotta go for the second best. <laughs> okay, so for the uh, cheeks, gotta soften up the skin color here, so a little bit of mayonnaise. Spread it out, get some nice creamy color here. There we go. Cream both sides equally. Get a nice smooth surface. <laughs> for the lipstick here. Big jug of ketchup. You're gonna give a nice red color, so this is great for when you're going to party. Just on the lips here. Spread it out. Nice. I actually really don't like the taste of ketchup. <laughs> and then finally, for the eyeshadow, I, I had to get a little bit creative here. So for that, you gotta just bring a flashlight, just flash it up like this. You see the shadow? So you just go to your party like this. These come pretty cheap in stores, so it's a good alternative not spending too much money on makeup. Ha! <laughs> ah, why did I do this? 
Toxic Nia asks how I edit. Text just keeps following his character. I can show you that. I have subtitles I want to animate up on separate tracks. I use track motion, position it at the initial frame over the head of my character, move a few frames forward and I move the text to follow the character to the final frame and I adjust it and then for every in-between point of these keyframes I do small adjustments where there's drastic motion. So it's pretty much all made by hand. And this is the final result. Mighty Crazen asks, will my parents ever love me? Hold on, let me call them and ask. Hello? What? No. Mr. Enfo asks, who slash what inspired you to play Dead by Daylight? Uh, back when Dead by Daylight first came out, it had a beta and I saw one video. It looked really fun and I was like, guys, we gotta pre-order this, we gotta play this on release date and we played it on release date. So I wouldn't necessarily say any particular person. I just came across the game and we, we played it since release. Lelina asks, any solo game recommendations? Subnautica. It's so good. I streamed a full playthrough a while ago and I absolutely loved it. It's available on the channel. There's also some videos for it, but I'm looking so forward to the DLC coming soon. Exo asks, who is your favorite person? Lou. And why is it... Mm Nomad asks, do you ever want to have a consistent theme for your videos or do you just want to try a variety of videos to test something new? So I have like two types of videos right now. I have solo stream and I have Gmod and kill your friends and stuff like that. I want to try and learn to make a new sort of solo type of video, probably focusing on some topic, a perk change, a buff, a new killer. I want to do that. You might see that in the future. You might also not. <laughs> Nesser asks, have you ever done something just to get subs? <laughs> there was this one funny little thing I did. Back when CNanus was huge, around the same time I started working on my first Gary's Mod game mode, I noticed that in his descriptions, he put what is, and then the game mode they were playing, and then a literal copy paste of the description from that game mode Steam Workshop page. So when I released the game mode, Cups and Runners, I put a very convenient description right at the top and put a little trap in it. And I told the guys, just wait. In about a month, the link to my channel is going to be in the description of one of CNANA's videos. And sure enough, about a month later when CNANA uploaded his first Cups and Runners video, there it was, right in the description. I only gained about 50 subs, but that was just a kind of funny little thing I did back then. He did remove that specific part from the next video, so I think he might be on to me. <laughs> Sandrita and Scobie ask, What is your favorite clip in all of your videos? Either... I'M GONNA MAKE IT <laughs> Or... Ooh, <laughs> ah! <laughs> 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 Homosexual tendencies. This is a life-changing question for both you, me, and all of you subscribers. So you need to answer this question honestly and truthfully. Okay. Alright. Do you support pineapple on pizza? Yes! Oh god. What have I done? What have I done? Oh no! I really need to find a bit of clothes. <sighs> eh.